Well, good evening, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Uh, time for another beautiful, beautiful evening. Another beautiful meditation with each and every one of you. It is 9 p.m., which means it's time for some healing, some clearing, some meditation. And uh, wow, as always, I ask that beginning question, what have you done today to make tomorrow a better place? And uh, there it is. Uh, we live in the present moment. And everything we do in the present moment uh, really describes and defines what's going to happen in our future and, uh, and what we do for our future. So uh, we want to live in the present moment. We want to do things in the present moment. But we definitely want to do things that are going to bring about a better future for us. So... Uh, let's begin to take a few deep breaths, just in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in some fresh energy, some fresh oxygen, fresh love, light. Breathe out all stress, all anxiety, all fear, anger, dis-ease. Just let it fall off the body. Uh, and let's begin to think about something that you want to work on today, something you want to clear on and clean on, something you want to manifest in your life, something you want to have, some somewhere you want to go, something you want to be, something you want to do. Um, it can be health, wealth, relationship, business, um, anything. You know, it could be manifesting a new car. It could be manifesting anything in your life. So... Just begin to think about what it is you want to work on and then become real clear about it. Really bring your focus into it and see it in the here and now as if it's already happened. And that's really one of the um, one of the tougher parts in, for many people is seeing the wish fulfilled, seeing it happening right here, right now. But as you do you begin to realize that it can manifest very quickly if you'll allow that to happen. If you'll believe, hello, Leanne, if you'll believe that it can happen right here, right now, in the present moment. So do that. Begin to also see if you can see it, hear it, feel it, taste it, smell it, all of your different senses if you can bring those senses into it, then it becomes even more powerful. So use those. And then in the end, um, as we've talked about before, um, the teachings of my friend uh, Joe Vitale, which is, or something better. Don't be so tied to it that you are unwilling to allow something better. And, uh, and in the world of law of attraction and manifesting, people do that on a regular basis. Good evening, Lisa and Leanne. And let's see who else is. Uh, Cindy is on here and um, Mary and Dell and Robbie and Jackie. It's starting to sound like either the Waltons or, or a Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> oh, so there it is. We've, we've taken all this information, we've put it in our head, and now I want you to take it and bring it down into your heart and begin to manifest in the heart. Hello, Pam. How are you doing, dear friend? So long since I've seen you. Wonderful to see you here. And so as you bring it into your heart, we sense with our heart. So being able to really feel what's happening as we're manifesting and as we're working on things and clearing and cleaning, um, knowing what's actually happening. So let's take that. Let's move it into the heart 
and let's start clearing with our favorite four phrases. Oh, what did I do here? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And as we're saying these phrases, of course, we're saying it to ourselves. We're saying it to source. We're saying, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of the data that I've got, uh, that I've brought into this particular situation, um, and the data and memory. So these are things that we've learned. These are things that we've, um, that we've kind of etched in to believe are real when they are just perceptions. We're cleaning on our perceptions of our situation. So when we look out in, in, in front of us and say, oh, this is happening, that's happening, it's just a perception. It's all just a perception. So when we clean on that, we're cleaning, and, and when we're doing this, we're cleaning on those perceptions. The next thing, please forgive me. Once again, I'm asking myself for forgiveness from myself and from source or my connection with source. And then the next thing we are, uh, when we're saying that, we're saying, please forgive me for, there again, for having all of this data, for having all these perceptions. But we're also acknowledging that we're trying to work on it at that time, that we're taking action. So with that, we take that action and we say, thank you. We say, thank you for taking the action. Thank you for taking 100% responsibility for everything in your life. Thank you for being willing to shift your life and to shift your perceptions. And then finally, I love you. And taking the time to look into your own eyes and say, I love you. And be able to feel it in your heart and awaken your heart with that. Hello, Dan. Great to see you and Daryl and Robert. Uh, so, yeah, being able to look first at yourself and say, I love you and feel it. And next to look at what you're clearing on and to say, hey, self, I love you for doing this. I love you for clearing. I love you for your meditations. I love you for, um, for taking action. I love you for taking action. And not just reacting to things, but actually taking the action. So here we go with our four phrases. So many things on these tables that I forget to uh, that I forget to add. So or forget to take away, I should say. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. 
please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And uh, the next thing that we're going to work with tonight is Morna's Prayer. And we're going to um, go through this prayer. And it's a, a prayer of reconciliation, a prayer of forgiveness, a prayer of acknowledgement. Uh, and it goes like this. Divine Creator, Father, Mother, Son is one. If I, my family, relatives, and ancestors have offended you, your family, relatives, and ancestors, in thoughts, words, deeds, and actions, from the beginning of our creation to the present, we ask your forgiveness. Let this cleanse, purify, release, cut all negative memories, blocks, energies, and vibrations, and transmute, transmute these unwanted energies into pure light, and it is done. Divine Creator, Father, Mother, Son is one. If I, my relatives, ancestors, and family have offended you, your family, relatives, and ancestors, in thoughts, words, deeds, and actions from the beginning of our creation to the present, we ask your forgiveness. Let this cleanse, purify, release, cut all negative memories, blocks, energies, and vibrations, and transmute these unwanted energies into pure light. And it is done. Divine Creator, Father, Mother, Son is one. If I, my family, relatives, and ancestors have offended you, your family, relatives, and ancestors, in thoughts, words, deeds, and actions, from the beginning of our creation to the present, we ask your forgiveness. Let this cleanse, purify, release, cut all negative memories and blocks, energies and vibrations, and transmute these unwanted energies into pure light, and it is done. And the mantra next is Om Gam Gamapataya Namaha. And this is the mantra of Ganesha, the remover of obstacles. And when we chant this, we're chanting for all of our obstacles to become removed quickly and easily. Om 
ध्यान ध्यान पते या नम ओम ध्यान ध्यान पते या नम ओम ज्ञान ज्ञान पद 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 या नम एंड द मंत्र ओम मनी बेड मे होम अनदर ब्यूटिफुल मंत्र दैट रियली हेल्प्स अस इन आवर स्पिरिचुअल अवेकनिंग because our body our life follows the path of the lotus and this is the jewel in the lotus om the jewel in the lotus hum and so like the lotus we grow up through the mud through the dirt through the water through the air to become a beautiful flower to blossom into a beautiful flower and inside that flower there's a jewel and this is the mani jewel um or the consciousness jewel and this consciousness jewel is what helps us to uh elevate ourselves into our own awakening our own enlightenment so this is a chant of our own enlightenment showing us our own path to enlightenment om mani padme hum om mani padme Sindhu the mantra, and we chant to the medicine Buddha to heal our physical body, our mental body, our spiritual body, the earth, the skies, the heavens, all humans, all animals, all insects, all spirits, all beings on all planes of existence. Teyata hon bekudze bekudze maha bekudze rata samun gate soha Teyata hon bekudze bekudze maha bekudze rata samun gate soha 
to our meditation and we'll do the mantra of light at the end. So begin to take a few deep breaths, adjust your posture. Just make yourself comfortable. And begin to open up your heart. As we activate the fifth chamber of the heart, the love chamber, the generator of love, the super electron, and we call forth hundreds of thousands of rhythmic waves of divine love into our garment and into our feeling body. And I call forth these hundreds of thousands of rhythmic waves of divine love to go forth up into my higher self, into our higher self, into our divine self, and into our I am presence. And I call forth hundreds of thousands of rhythmic waves of divine love to send forth to Saint Germain Akasha, Asun, the angelic realm, our guardian angels, and all the beings on the higher realms. 
and I send forth hundreds of thousands of rhythmic waves of divine love into each person here on this meditation and to all those who will watch it at a later time. We send out to your family, to your friends, to your co-workers, to all beings, all beings on the earth, in the sky, in the cosmos, out in the heavens. We send forth hundreds of thousands of rhythmic waves of divine love. And we visualize rhythmic waves or flames in violet, pink, and white flowing through the body and settling in the three chambers of the heart. And those are the love chamber, the power chamber, and the wisdom chamber. And feel these flames move into the pineal, the pituitary, into the medulla, the cerebrum, the cerebellum. And as they move into all of these different areas, you can now send these rhythmic waves of divine love to anyone anything, anywhere, and all you do is say, I send forth hundreds of thousands of rhythmic waves of divine love to whoever or whatever it is you want to send to. You can send to family, friends, to a place. We can even send to illnesses to clear those illnesses, to bring harmony into people. So I send forth hundreds of thousands of rhythmic waves of divine love to all of you, to all of you to access so that you can radiate these divine love, uh, these rhythmic waves of divine love to any and all beings that you would like to send them to. So take these 20 minutes and do your meditation clear, clear with yourself and send these rhythmic waves to any and all beings. And we'll see you in about 20 minutes.
Deep breath in and out, and again in and hold it, and as you breathe out, gently open your eyes. Thank you for joining us yet one more time for another beautiful meditation, another beautiful clearing. Thank you for taking the time to be with us. My deepest gratitude to you for taking the time every night. My deepest gratitude for your support, uh, for your sponsorship, and for you being here to clean, to clear, to awaken, to meditate. May you always be well. May you always be happy. May you always be healthy. And may you always stay blessed. And I will see you tomorrow night. I love you.